include everything. Hey guys, so last time what we ended up doing was we uh, just did a little bit of basic HTML. This time we're going to jump into the JavaScript and what we're going to do is get our free code camp status right below here. I believe I already created a H3, so we're going to target this H3 using jQuery and then we're going to output uh, the status and put a link on it as well. So uh, let's go ahead and get our document ready. We're going to close this up right now, zoom in a little bit. And we'll try and comment this as we go along. So this basically just means run our jQuery. Uh, lately I've liked to put my comments in um, caps. It's just a preference thing. There's no really reason other than that. So if you're wondering why, that's all that's going on. So we're gonna basically just tell our JavaScript, hey, do some stuff, or our jQuery uh, with our dot ready function. So the next thing we want to do is we want to put more comments. Say um, we want to get the free free uh, code camp stream info and status API call. More or less. We could probably do that a little bit uh, better. Um, the way that we're going to get that is by doing a get JSON call. We're going to pass in a URL here, and then we are going to run a function that's going to take in a parameter called data1. And with that, we're going to do some stuff. What are we going to do? And what is this URL? Let's go ahead and do this. So I'm just going to create var URL is equal to, and the way that you're able to get that is by going to HTTPS API uh, Twitch TV slash Kraken uh, slash stream slash free code camp. So this is going to give us all the information. And we should go ahead and show that real quick in our get JSON. So this is all the info that we're getting about free code camp's Twitch channel. Um, a lot of stuff here. Now, according to this, they're currently streaming. If they were offline, it would say null. So if we go to Twitch twitch.tv slash free code camp they should be online right now we're going to check and you'll see right now four people are watching and they're online cool uh, so some guy's working on uh, algorithm scripting too bad for him my shit's already done uh, anyhow uh, so what we basically want to do is target our FCC status that we created. Now, uh, as I was saying, our the stream status would be equal to null if it was offline. So all we're going to do is say if data one dot stream is strictly equal to null, we want to run some code. If it's not, else do this. So all we have to do here is target our FCC status. So let's go ahead and select our FCC status like so. And then we want to output some HTML to it. So right here we'll say something like free code camp is current currently and we'll put all in caps offline. And we'll go ahead and do the same thing, except we're going to put a different statement in our else. And we're going to change offline to online. Now let's go ahead and save this. And if everything wor is working as it should, it should say they're online. Cool. And let's go ahead and fix our spelling mistake here as well. All right. What uh, The last thing that we're going to do in this video is we're going to actually just set a link to this. The easiest way to do that is just to go into the HTML and create a anchor tag here and we'll just go ahead and put twitch.tv slash freecodecamp.com if we really wanted to do it real uh, legitly as we should let's go ahead and do this and get the whole HTTPS save ourselves a little bit of headache here so now what we're, we're going to go ahead and just paste this in here. All we're doing is create an anchor tag around our H3 that we're changing. 
And that way, uh, regardless of whatever is there, there's always going to be something there. They're either offline or online. And this is going to work just fine. And when we do it here, it's now going to take us in our page here. Or it should. And while we're at it, we're going to go ahead and set target equal to blank so it opens up in a new window. Let's go ahead and save that. And when we click it, it's going to pop it up in a new window. So that was our second video here, kind of showcasing how to get the free code camp status. In the next one, what we're going to do is get the followers using a get JSON API call using Twitch API. So if you guys found this video helpful, as always, thank you to anyone who supports me on Patreon. I appreciate all the likes. Don't forget to subscribe and share the videos. See you guys next time. Thanks for watching. Hey guys, thanks for watching the video. My good friend Matt at Engineered Truth has a three-part interview with Quincy Larson, the founder of Free Code Camp. Go ahead and check that out and you'll get a lot of really cool stuff. Thanks for watching and I'll see you guys next time.